Hello and welcome. We will be going over the Logzilla introduction video for triggers. For those unfamiliar, Logzilla is a network event orchestrator. What this means is that Logzilla watches information streams such as log files, deduplicates, filters, and parses the log event messages. And it will react to those events in real time from sending out email alerts up to and including automatically remediating problem conditions. For this video, we will be talking about Logzilla triggers. Triggers are the means by which Logzilla takes actions, such as those just mentioned. Logzilla monitors and analyzes the log event stream according to either source-specific application modules we have developed or even through application modules written and customized specifically for your scenario. Through analyzing the log event stream, Logzilla can recognize when a condition has occurred, such as a network interface going down. Then by making use of triggers, we can, for example, just send out an email to a priority address that there is a fault. However, we can also use triggers to take remedial action as a result of the condition, such as automatically attempting to restore the network interface. Let's have a quick look at a trigger in operation. Here's a simulated enterprise network with multiple servers and network devices. We have a Cisco router here. Logzilla can detect the router log message that an interface has gone down. And not only can Logzilla notate an email that the interface has gone down, it can automatically bring it back up. Let's go see how it's done. You can see here the Logzilla default dashboard. Dashboards are covered in a different Logzilla introduction video. Let's go to triggers. Here's our trigger that detects an interface down and brings it back up. First we'll talk about what conditions can cause a trigger to fire or activate. As I mentioned, Logzilla parses and analyzes log event streams. These log event streams are just text data. So the conditions that Logzilla can use have to do with parsing that text data. So as far as detecting that the interface has gone down, for this demo we're using a simplistic matching strategy. Much more complicated options are available. You can see here the event match options, which indicates what causes the trigger to fire. In brief, you can use the various fields of a syslog message, such as a host, program, severity, etc. However, the simplest option is simply a text match on the log message. Here we are watching for the text, change state to down. Now that we have that set, we're using one more option to fire this trigger. Here we are selecting only messages from host R27. As far as what this trigger does, you can see it does several things. But for now we're just going to mention the email notification and the automatic remediation. Here's the email template. It's sending to lzu at logzilla.net. Subject line is R27 interface down. You'll see in the message body that we're including the log message as it came from the router. In more complicated triggers, you can use text substitution like the email body here so that a single template can handle multiple log event scenarios. Then we have execute script. We're executing script interface up. Let's go look at that script. It can be as simple or complicated as you want. You can use scripting languages such as Python and Perl, and even use executable programs. So all this script does is send commands to the router to bring the interface back up. We just pipe each line to the router with a delay to let the router keep up. Here's the lines we're sending. Basically the username and password followed by the router commands to bring the interface up. Let's try it out. We'll open a connection to our router. Let's manually take down the interface for testing. OK, here's the router response indicating the interface has gone down. Now we can't see it, but our trigger is fired and is sending those commands to the router to bring the interface back up. We'll give it just a bit. OK. Now you see that the router has output the message that the line is back up. The trigger fired and kicked off the script, and the script told the router to bring the interface back up. Now we can go see the email. And here's the email indicating that Logzilla detected the router interface going down and that it was attempting to bring it back up. I didn't show it, but we have another similar trigger that detects the interface coming back up and sends out an email to that effect, so that whoever's receiving these emails Notice that although an interface did go down, Logzilla was able to successfully bring it back up. So that's Logzilla triggers. 
there's lots of additional and more interesting functionality available that I didn't go over here. You can make scripts flexible by using pattern matching and variable substitution. And for actions, you can use basically any script or executable to take actions such as sending messages to Slack and more. Okay, you can see more if you check out the Logzilla instructional video for triggers. Thanks for watching.